paper for Chinese painting we call uh, rice paper. Uh, it's not from the uh, not from rice, from the um, the hay, the straw. Yeah. You're right, yeah. Go paint a monkey right now, you know. I'll okay. paint you, boy. You guys all know what year it is? What year is this year? 1993. Monkey year. Monkey year. There we go. Okay. Yeah, year this, the uh, this year is monkey year. So uh, we're going to learn how to do monkeys, right? How do you like uh, Yanni's uh, monkey? Um, she became very famous at the age of uh, eight uh, in 1981, which is uh, uh, monkey year. The Chinese government uh, published uh, her work on the postal stamp, so it became uh, worldwide, then uh, national, international uh, painter, uh, well known in the world. So her book has been published uh, in many different languages. Uh, I bought four of them. This is the the painting that was uh, published in the uh, postal stamp in China. Uh, now she is uh, at her forties, I think, in living in Germany. Uh, <laughs> but uh, her painting stays very, um, you know, forever young, and it's keep inspiring young children around the world. Uh, or a young student. Actually, she was uh, a teenager uh, when she did uh, her painting show in Smithsonian in DC, um, in this country, actually. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do Yanis style paintings, which is known uh, in Chinese as a, a spontaneous uh, style of painting. Okay, so I'm going to uh, pass around to the painting paper that she used. Uh, called the rice paper. Um, you have tried one for the calligraphy, right? 
Um, now we're going to use the uh, alternative, uh, which could be found in your home, the napkins. So what is wrong? <laughs> What's the rice paper? <coughs> if you ask uh, what is the paper that she used, we call it rice paper, or shuan paper, which is named after the county in uh, southern uh, in uh, Anhui province. Uh, the rice paper is like napkins, uh, it uh, absorbs. So when you see Yani painting, she just drips some water, uh, drip some ink on the paper, and let it uh, blur, let it uh, uh, bleed, right? Um, so let's see. If you, if you paint slowly, and you will kind of uh, bleed. So my brush is dry, so it will, it's sensitive to moisture. If you have more moisture, uh, it will uh, yeah, spread out. So let's just add some water. And you can just add water to dilute the ink. <coughs> Can anybody tell what I'm? No. Oh, you're very good. You're very good. I don't even have, have finished. How can you tell? Looks like horn. Oh my God. You didn't realize. So I realized it. When you paint on rice paper, you need to be very yeah, gentle, not to uh, use too much force. You, it's very easy to rip, okay? Um, what other things you need to um, consider? <clears throat> the speed, okay? When the brush is uh, wet, you need to go faster. When the brush is dry, you can go slower. So it's sensitive to moisture, how much water, how much ink you can use a paper towel to adjust the moisture to control it, okay? And then uh, it has to do with the speed and the pressure. Like you, in calligraphy, in Chinese painting, uh, you can, the brush is, uh, is very uh, soft, <coughs> so you, you can use uh, different pressure to get very fine lines and very thick lines in one stroke. So you don't do uh, like a pencil, you, you don't go back, back and forth. Just one stroke for the uh, large stroke, <coughs> or large uh, line, uh, like a fat lines or, or shape. Okay, so you can do different shape in one stroke. That's the characteristic, uh, we call it uh, Chinese uh, uh, calligraphic pen. Okay, uh, I have a handout uh, with some, uh, we don't have time to go through all the definitions of this concept. So I can just pass this around. And I'll keep doing some demos while I'm explaining this concept. Just pass the handout. Um, so first we we'll, we we'll talk about the, the nature of the paper, right? And the nature of the brush. You have learned from the calligraphy lesson earlier. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk is uh, uh, the the uh, the contrast. So we use uh, ink, which is very different from other kind of painting. That's why we call it Chinese painting or Chinese brush painting. Because we use the same tool as the calligraphy, the, the ink. Uh, the four treasures uh, are the basic tools. Okay. The ink on white paper creates a very strong contrast. And the white, before I do the white part of the fur, you already know it's panda. Why? Because uh, there's contrast, right? So you consider the unpainted part, the void, as part of a painting. You can call it a negative painting or negative space. So you don't paint the whole background. The background is there. If you paint a fish, um, it's water, right? If you paint a bird, it's sky. So you don't do the background. You just do the object and indicate the background, OK? Um, take advantage of the white. I'm, I'm not going to use any white, that's a Chinese uh, painting. 
you have to take advantage of the background white when you do the panda. Also, if you do the monkey, you know, uh, there's a, the white in the eye, you have to save it. You cannot use white to fill in the, the pure for you know. And, okay, the next thing is the value of ink. Um, we call it tonality. You have to control the tonality. In, in calligraphy, you only use black ink. Ink is not black. In, ink is color. There are five, five values from white, gray, to dark, and very dark, right? So you, you want to put the emphasis on where the focus is. So you will start from the dark <coughs> where the, the eyes I started, right? Then I dilute it, I add water. So if, when it's dry, you will see, that, you know, on the, on the white fur, I use only a little bit ink. So be very careful. You use ink in Chinese saying like a gold. It's very uh, conserved. You don't want to abuse it. So you use only a little bit of ink. You cannot erase it. That's the nature of Chinese brush painting. Once it's on the rice paper or napkin, you cannot take it away. You can always add to it. So start from uh, with a little ink, right? And then you can add to it. That's the idea. Um, and after all, uh, this painting is called a spontaneous painting, which is in Chinese, 写意, means idea writing. It's all about expression of your mood. Do you know what's mood in Yanis monkey? What is the definition of mood? And we all use this kind of symbols, right? This is like a smiley. Do I have a... Oh, yeah, marker. Marker. Right, right. No, that's the problem. Uh, let me see. Yeah, let me just use uh, this. Uh, uh, Yanni's. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do this. Uh, this brush painting instead of uh, using the the brush. I just use napkins. Okay. So let's do a uh, playful monkey, which is playful is the word for the the mood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See that? trying to squeeze in the body. Anyway, um, so you, you can, you can uh, start with the face and then um, do the, the body, right? You can start with uh, red. Uh, do another one. A side view. This is the front view. You can use two brush, uh, one for the red, one for ink. So first of all, I draw this uh, shape like a, a core mark, kind of the our, our number six the field is, is, uh, space. And uh, next, I'm going to use ink. Draw a big circle, half circle, maybe. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. And then uh, you can draw the body, actually, before we do the details. And then one big curve. And then some uh, 
prefer kind of loose joints. So, you, so this back is more uh, like a curve. The belly is only said that's a void, unpending the space. Okay, you come that, you take that into account, and then um, the arms. Use dark ink again, so different tones. <coughs> Before I can add a, a eye, a, a, a ear, then just dot the eye, and a little dot for the nose and the side. You only see one. Then you have to think uh, where to fit the leg. That's a good uh, thing. Now you need to consider it before if you want to do the neck. So I try to. this book so you can uh, take a look of these examples and try to find a monkey you like to copy later. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right, right. Okay. The, the, thank you for reminding. Okay. The Chinese painting is not complete without uh, the artist's signature and the seal. So I'm going to sign and uh, stamp it. Do we have any? Yeah, we do, but we don't have any person's chops there. But yeah, you, okay. I'm, I'm show you, I'm going to show you how to do it. Too. Maybe I. Uh, yeah, look the one in the middle. You have the circle one, the red ink there. This is this is how I do it without a, a real chop. Uh, this is the the ink stick and the I mean the chop, uh, which is carved on a soapstone and uh, the. Uh, uh, red ink paste, but you can do it without uh, without that by uh, just putting your initial. I'm going to ask you to just put your last name, your first name, initial in the square. Okay. So uh, this should be part of the composition. You can put it on the corner, which is very typical. You can also put it on top with the title. Um, I just put it here. Let me just add a little. A little uh, maybe fruit or something on top. Let me try to reach. Uh, whatever. Grapes or what? And then I sign, and uh, we can sign with a small brush. Yeah, the brush you have is smaller, right? So it's good. For the signature. So I will write my name Xiao Hui in Chinese. You can write your English name if you want. And then uh, put the initial in a square. So H L Henry Lee, right? And uh, you can put a little, little color. So you can put a little, little color on a uh, little contrast color. So there's a, a dominant color, which is uh, the red. And then you can add a little guest color. We call it uh, emphasis. 
So you don't want to put emphasis on the wrong place. So the emphasis uh, is uh, uh, where the dark ink and the strong color is. So you want to focus on that. And uh, all the other parts are subordinate. The, it should be diluted ink or uh, faded with colors. Okay. And in, so if you read the handout, you get the idea of the uh, basic uh, uh, characteristics of uh, Chinese brush painting. Do you have any <coughs> questions so far before you practice? No? Good. So we're going to pass around some, uh, uh, some napkins, and you will, you will try to paint either the panda or the monkey. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. This one, this one, this one. So you, do you want to put this on top of there? Like this one that everyone can see? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. They want the... Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, this one should be on okay. So we're going to add a little... Um, okay, each of you have a, a big dinner napkin. And try to make sure how to balance, yeah, how to, yeah, think about before you put any ink on, all right? Think about your paint and try to balance them. And review, look at the handout before you start it. Okay, here's yours. <laughs> That's the whole idea, right? You can practice it any time during the dinner, lunch time, right? <laughs> this is what I'm going to do. That's how your left neck okay. works. Uh, follow my steps here. <laughs> They're practicing for us. I'm going to use the real nine. Okay. Okay.